So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Oriflam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it ain't tires bile tea. Oh, just go and see Otto, will ya? All right. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Take a seat, Clive. <laughs> There's so many uses. Well. Good day. Or... Now this, I believe you will find most interesting. Study the tomes?
always welcome, Clive. <laughs> Do you need any help, uh, Miss Molly? Take a seat, Clive. I don't know. Okay. So you're really going through with it? Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him. But that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. <sighs> well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him wasn't enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Another war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, that's God's for you, isn't it? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home. With a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. Is making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone traveling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you, I might just know of a way. This. Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dame. And it's the Dame who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning, let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Right. <laughs> Don't go blinding her with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service anyway. Otto's put me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or maybe I don't have to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you who's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. Ah, you're Sid's man, if I'm not mistaken. Couldn't trouble you for some assistance, could I? It depends. What do you need? Some new bearers from Oriflam just arrived, and it cost Master Quinton a pretty penny to convince their owner to part with them. Man must have been a bloody tyrant. I can't get a peep out of them, try as I might. They're probably terrified of you. <laughs> you're probably right. They say it'd take a bearer like yourself to open them up. So, will you have a word with them? Help them settle in? I can try. 
That'll do me. Tell them they're safe, and that if they need anything, they just have to ask. I'll let them know. Appreciate it. They're sitting over there, taking a long overdue breather, looks like. So you're the new arrivals. Is there anything I can get you? You're safe here. They don't punish people like us for speaking our minds. Truly. I'm hungry. My sister too, we're starving. Wait here. I'll fetch you something from the tavern. Thank you. I won't be long. You stay here and rest. That'll be enough for today. But how did the grocer know his dog? Sun's setting fast. Can I have another cup, Teddy? I'll have two plates of whatever you're serving. Sorry? We have enough mouths of our own to feed without tending to the wants of outsiders. It's not for me. It's for some new arrivals. Oh, my apologies. I didn't see the mark. So you're a comrade. Well, in that case, you may have whatever you require. Take all the bread and wine you want. That's really all it takes. One look at the innkeeper's mark. Of course it is. I do as Master Quinton commands, as do we all. And Master Quinton commands that none of his favoured guests be left wanting. Well, don't keep our new comrades waiting. Take what you need and see that they eat their fill. Bread and wine. Hopefully this will be enough. from the tavern. May we? Truly? Such plenty. Never in all my days. Brother, this place is like a dream. We sat and no one shouted. We ate and more was offered. I know. I can't believe it. You're free now. And the next time you're hungry, you need only ask to be fed. Thank you for everything. now, brother. 